Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. We are going to look at how to install a door. So here's the way you install a door, real quick. Here we go, all done. Easy as that. Just kidding, that was too easy. So, here's what we're gonna do. You will need some tools. You will need a two foot level. You will need a six foot or a four foot level. I prefer a six foot. I like to have as long of a level as I can for the space. So I'm gonna use a two foot and then a six foot. I'm gonna use my impact driver with trim screws. You could use a trim nailer if you would prefer. I like a, a, a screw gun because if I need to, I can take those screws out. You're going to need shims. Those are very important. Got to have shims. And then you obviously need a door. So when you get your door, you need to take the door out of the frame. So the easiest way to do that is by taking these pins out of the hinges. I recommend getting a hammer and a nail set. And you're going to Tap the hinges, tap the pins out of the hinges. Make sure you keep a hold of those. It's not fun to lose these and then go searching for them. Then you take your door off of your frame. Set your door aside. We'll come back to that in just a second. So now you're going to take your frame and you're going to make sure you set it in the opening the way you want the door to swing. Now they have right hand swings and the left hand swings. What you need to do is figure out what you want. The way you determine is if you're on the outside Whichever hand is able to move that door, that's your right hand or your left hand. This, the handle is going to be here. The hinges are going to be on the left side. So it's going to be a left hand swing. If that handle was over here and it swung to the right, it would be a right hand swing. But this is a left hand swing. So we got the frame. Now we're ready to start using shims to shim it in place. So I've got all my shims now, I've got my screw gun, I've got my screws, we're ready to go. So I'm going to stick this door in place. And I'm going to start with the uh, hinge side. I'm going to start on the jam on the hinge side. I'm going to center it in the hole at the top. So now I shim the top this way to center it. Now it's not going anywhere, and now I'm going to check it for level. So I have my two foot level. I'm going to check this and see what it looks like. This looks really, really good. Yeah, it looks super. Looks good. So now I'm going to go ahead and put a screw in up here so it'll stay put. When you put that screw in, I'm going to put it on the side that the door is commonly going to 
rest against, not the, the side that's going to be seen when the door is shut. I'm also going to come back and put wood filler in that hole to cover up that screw. Okay, I got one screw in there. Now I'm going to work down the jam and I'm going to put my six foot level along this side, making it level and straight. I don't want to build a big curve or a big bow into this frame. Okay, folks, so now it's level. I'm going to shim it now just where it needs to stay so that this can stay plumb. And right in here, it backs, so I'm going to plumb it tight to the level. One other thing you want to watch for when you get ready to put screws in here is make sure the frame is lined up with the wall and it's not in or out one way. All right, so now it's plumb. It's staying put. Now that it's plumb, and straight up and down, I like to put shims behind my hinges because when the door is all set, I'm going to pull this middle one out and stick a big screw in there just so it's more secure. Okay, so now I have the door, the, the hinge side set. Now I need to put the door on so I can set this side based off the reveal, based off that crack in the door compared to the frame. Let's look at how to do that. Okay folks, so now we've got the door in here. I'm gonna set this side the handle side with the reveal. So we're looking at this crack here between the door and the jam, and we want to keep that crack the same all the way along. We don't want it to bow way out. We don't want it to get super tight anywhere. So we're going to um, start up here. We're going to put a screw in here, and then we're going to work down, opening the door, putting shims in, closing the door, and we're going to make sure that reveal stays the same. Okay, folks, there you go. The door is set, all shimmed up and fastened. We have a even reveal all the way along. So this door's set, ready for trim. All right, folks, so now the next thing to do on this is to cut these shims off and then install the trim and install the handle and then you are done this door is all done hey thanks for watching folks thanks for the view remember to work hard because hard work is its own reward thanks for watching